Welcome to the Stormwater Academy, where we take everyday Joes and mold them into the best of the best of the brightest of the brightest public works professionals. But to know where we're going, we have to know where we've been. So let's wind the clock back 50 years. Imagine so much pollution in our waterways that they could spontaneously combust. Well, that actually happened. When the Cuyahoga caught fire in 1969, it spurred the environmental movement, and because of it, the Clean Water Act was born. Now that's some smoke on the water. The Clean Water Act called for the restoration and maintenance of the nation's waters so they could be fishable and swimmable. One of the largest sources of pollution is non-point source pollution. Stormwater runoff is one example. This happens when rainwater washes materials from our roads, parking lots, and rooftops into the storm drains and then into our waterways. Larger urbanized areas like the Truckee Meadows, Las Vegas, and even the Nevada Department of Transportation are considered MS4s. What the heck is an MS4? It means they manage a municipal separate storm sewer system. That's the whole collection system for stormwater. Our streets, roads, maintenance yards, surfaces are connected to the MS4, typically draining to our waterways. Unlike the sewer system, stormwater essentially flows to our waterways untreated. So if salt, sand, dirt, or other materials get washed off the pavement, it pretty much goes right into our waterways. That's a lot of muck. By law, MS4s are required to take steps to prevent stormwater pollution. They must educate the public and their employees about how they can prevent pollution. And that's where you come in. Through a complex and highly scientific formula, <laughs> brine is developed for roadways to help prevent snow from sticking and makes it easier to remove it. But just like with anything, too much is not good. Due to the high concentration of salt, it needs to be properly stored in watertight containers with secondary containment in case the containers leak so the brine is captured before reaching the MS4 or waterway. Garbage dumpsters are only for trash, not hazardous materials. Trash can also be a source of water pollution. It clogs the MS4 waterways and carries pollutants to places it shouldn't. And that's foul. Make sure the trash makes it to the trash can and always close the lid or cover waste bins. Take note. Waste bins are not watertight, and a leaky bin can ooze contaminated water into the MS4 or waterways. Atta boy! Materials like sand and salt that are stored in maintenance yards may potentially become stormwater runoff pollutants. It's time to take action! Contain the materials to prevent them from entering drains. Our maintenance crews help preserve water quality and protect our waterways by properly containing and securing materials. When possible, secure the materials in covered storage units. The maintenance division job is to clean out the MS4, and that results in some pretty yucky stuff. So, what do you do with it once you've got it? Vector waste can have all kinds of pollutants suspended in liquid. That liquid can carry pollutants into the groundwater or surface water, so proper care must be taken. Yikes! Now that's scary! Vector waste should be placed on a drying bed or similar to allow the liquids to separate from the solids. The liquid flows into a sand oil separator where the finer solids have time to settle. The liquid flows into the sanitary sewer where it can be properly treated. That's our Vector, Victor! Then, when the remaining solid waste is dry enough, it's scooped up and hauled to the landfill. 
our streets are swept with vacuum-style sweepers. These sweepers protect particulates like sand, dust, and salt from getting in the air, as well as keeping them out of our MS4s and ultimately out of our waterways. Every day, our maintenance crews go out into the field to clean and maintain our storm drains, culverts, and roadways to keep them clear of potential stormwater runoff pollutants. But our vehicles can also become a source of pollution. Fluids that drip out of our vehicles can run off into storm drains, which can lead to our rivers and lakes. Don't be a dirty drip. Always clean up oil and fluid leaks by using drip pans to contain them and absorbents to clean them. And remember to always keep your vehicles well maintained. Now we're looking good. Maintaining our MS4 and other facilities requires the use of a lot of different products such as pesticides, herbicides, oils, etc. We have to ensure these hazardous materials and waste products are stored properly out of the weather. Not only from a perspective of protecting our MS4, but also to protect ourselves. It's important to wash our vehicles in an appropriate manner to ensure accumulated mud, oils, salts, and debris are captured for proper disposal. We want to make sure it does not end up flowing into our MS4. We hope today you learned the main best management practices, or BMPs, needed to minimize pollutants from entering our MS4s and waterways from our everyday tasks in our maintenance yards and work activities. By following the best management practices, BMPs, in this video, you've graduated the Stormwater Academy. Congratulations! You've gone from zero to hero. Now, let's get to work keeping our waterways clean.